All right, down here at our boat, double edge. Built in 1988, it's a 26 Anderson, dove, urchin, and abalone here with the Pedersen family. Since then, pretty much until they sold it to us two, three years ago. And we've been fishing halibut and sea bass and whatever else we can do and having fun on it. And uh, we qualified for a APCD repower this year. So we're gonna get rid of our tier zero motors. Right now it has these twin Mercury's or diesel engines in it. Bravo 2 outdrives. Uh, they're built in 96 and 97, I think, but they're still running. They probably have like, we don't really know how many overall hours on it, but probably six to 8,000, somewhere in there. And uh, since they're tier zero, they qualify for getting cleaned up and we're gonna replace it with, a, I think it's a tier three Volvo D4. Um, we're gonna V-drive the boat and uh, have her back in the water, hopefully sometime in the next year give her an all around bit of TLC, which is much needed as you'll see here soon. So this is day one. We're gonna try to get the boat over to the launch ramp on the trailer, start getting all our gear off of it, start stripping things off it, and uh, hopefully be demoing this week. I'm gonna try to do some vlogs on the progress of the boat and um, yeah, follow along if it's of interest to you. I don't know, I love boats and love being on the water. So it's gonna be a fun project gonna get to work with some really cool people on it. So we're super stoked to make this happen. Here's the engines. Twin Mercruiser cruiser diesels. These things are like 180 horsepower, I think 2.4 liters. They're still going. We're doing an APCD repower, clean these things up. They're tier zero. So pretty burny. We got a nice kelp forest growing. To the bottom. Oh, gnarly. <laughs> Look at the hot drives. So bad. Ready for reset. Yep. Electrolysis is a nightmare. There you go. That's the technique. All right. Boat's out. Gotta start getting all our stuff off. Some November 97 flares. Get rid of those. All right, we got the string rail off. Hey Connor, do you think you got this last one here? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, the drum set's available, I think it's good. Okay. So I'm gonna go look at it. I don't know if I surprised off of it, but oh. I think I might be in Utah. Yeah. 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 Get my carpet. Yeah. I know she got all in. Smelling nice. Like, yeah, shit. They do all their ortho meditations out at Park City. That shit's so nice. I have a few songs. All the cars. It's out. There's definitely some freaking rot here. Some rot there. Pull the back end. Cut this out. Gotta get all this wiring. So much old wire. Runs down the rail. Got hot back there. You. Starting to unbolt the motors. There it goes, the old dash. All right, came back for day two. And a day one, we pretty much got a lot done actually. 
Got all the carpet off the interior. Started going through the dash. We got the all the radar mount, everything off the roof, all the stern rail, just all our stuff off the boat. Um, just kind of started getting off every like nut and bolt and random little mount thing here in the engine. Getting all the wiring cut out. Let's see, I took apart the dash and uh, all the carpet. Still gotta get these uh, windshields that never, we didn't even have windshields, but they're still mounted on there. So yeah, still lots to do, making headway. Hopefully uh, we're towing the boat out to the yard today, out to the Anderson yard and keep going, getting ready to pull the motor. So I'm just going through all the wiring in the um, engine compartment, starting to pull it all down the rail here, undoing the harnesses. Still gotta get the um, shifter, got the steering wheel. So yeah, quite a bit more to do here, just to get it started. Here's a bunch of the wire I've already cut out. A lot of it wasn't even being used and since we're repowering like all of it, most of it's all gonna change. So we figured we might as well just start fresh and try to simplify and cut down what we need. Most of it ran up the rail right through here. There's a little bit of water pulled up here from all the rain. Lately, there's a little bit of a leak down that rail up under here. And then most of it came up under there into the panel right here, which we've already taken out. So making headway, then I gotta come back here. A lot of it I just cut off back here to pull through because it was easier, but starting to undo everything that goes to the engine, the trim tabs, the trim ramp pumps, <clears throat> the steering, all that good stuff. So we're getting it going.